So um, I'm just doing the wiring on this, uh, the tow bar lights on this Skoda Fabia. It's about 10 years old. So uh, what reg is it? It's a uh, one zero reg. So I guess that's like 2010 or something. Um, so I had on my, I'm not doing this properly, you should use a relay apparently, um, but every car I've ever had, I've managed to wire the, the uh, tow bar wiring directly to the, the lighting wires without a relay. So I'm just trying that again. Maybe it'll work on this, maybe not. Uh, I did it on a Renault, which was 2003. And I did it on a, a VW Polo, which was 2001. So hopefully things haven't moved on that much and uh, the little computer brain won't pick up on what I'm doing. Anyway, so um, this is a Swan Neck uh, tow bar. Uh, you may have a flange tow bar. Flange. <laughs> and... Um, if you do, then you would have used this, this plate here, which uh, goes on behind the, the ball hitch. Uh, but this one, it just bolts straight onto this wee bracket here, and uh, which is rather low down. And we'll probably catch on something at some point. But there you go. Um, so anyway, that's on there. And then basically what you have to do is thread the wire up inside, and there's a little... Uh, grommet here which is solid and I just poked a hole in that with a screwdriver you might want to put a little bit of silicon around there if you're doing a good job which I'm not and then basically you need to divide out your wires so find look up a um, a wiring a wiring the wiring color codes on the internet and you'll see that uh, uh, half of them will go to the left and half of them will go to the right um, well, actually, half, but then you've also got an earth as well, uh, which you um, which you can put to either side, because there's earths, earths to have, earths on both sides, both lighting clusters. So, uh, there's a plastic trim here you have to take off, this one here. There's uh, some plastic, actually made out of plastic nuts, which you take off there. And then there's some little clips which you take out. They have a central pin which you lever out with a screwdriver. And then the actual clippy bit itself will pop out quite easily. And then that comes off. There's some clips at the top as well inside. And these pretty much always snap off whenever you're doing it. But on this occasion, they seem okay. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, so then what you need to do is run your wires up behind this piece of plastic trim here and then out through this little hole where the uh, where the, there's a, a big grommet here with all the lighting wires that's run through it. Um, and to do that, I used a piece of, uh, well, you could use a piece of wire, but basically you get a piece of something like fencing wire um, or I use the uh, outer an outer gear cable off a bicycle which was long enough and you just poke it up through and because it's stiffer you can bend it and stuff and it'll be a lot easier to feed that up through there's a little hole there where you took the um, uh, fixing nut out of which you can keep an eye out for it and then eventually you'll see it in here and you can pull it out tape on your wires to the end of it and then use that to pull the wires through otherwise you'd have to take this this trim piece of trim off here and um, if you've ever fiddled around with trimming cars before you'll know that it really goes back on right once you take it off and well probably does if you know what you're doing but um, there you go yeah so that's the little clips that keep the you should be familiar with those if you've ever changed the, the light bulb in the back so I got my soldering iron here um, if you're ever after a good one this one's a a Weller, um, and it's the same people that make the uh, hair curlers, uh, you know, the hot hair, 
curves that ladies use, or men, I guess, if you're, uh, you know, Peter Stringfellow or someone like that. Uh, this is a good one. This is 20 years old, and I actually found this in a box recently, um, and it hadn't been used for a few years, but I've actually gone through two or three other soldering irons. Um, you know, cheap Chinese ones, and this one's been lasting really well, so if they still make them, I definitely recommend it. So what I do, rather than use wire strippers or, or um, you know, wire cutters on the um, on the wires and run the risk of chopping right through them and getting in the right pickle, I just use a hot soldering iron to expose the copper in the middle of the in the middle of the insulated wire. So I'll just demonstrate on this side with one hand. Hopefully I won't mess anything up. But basically, uh, how do I need to do that one? Which do I need to do? I need to do the, that brown there. That's the earth. This red one is the fog light. Now I need to do that. So we'll strip a bit of off there. So you just get your hot soldering iron and you just rub it along one side. You have to push down a little bit. See, I can't really push down very hard, I'm afraid, so it's not working very well. And I don't want to touch the wire next to it in case I damage that one. But, there you go, you can just about see there that I've exposed the copper wire in the middle. And if you get some solder now on your soldering iron and blob it on there, we could do that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, put some solder on there. It should it should cling to the copper wire in the middle, and then all, all you do then is you get your um, the one which come the right one from the um, uh, the one that comes up from the tow bar socket, and you just um, solder that on. But I'm not I'm not sure which color. I've lost forgotten what colors go with what. But if you're ever stuck to know what does what, all you have to do is just follow the, you have to find your, the earth, okay? And normally there's lots of those, all the same color. So in this case, that's brown, which is an unusual color for earth if you're not familiar with car electronics. But, so that's your earth. And then the other ones, all you have to do is get someone to hop in the car and try out the pedals and you'll find out what's what. So for example, uh, this is all a bit ski whiff at the moment but this rubber seal goes around at the top. So the uppermost one here is the brake light because I put a brick on the brake pedal earlier and that one lit up. So I know that red one there is the brake. So all I need to do now is solder the correct wire to that one and so on and so on. So this orange one here is the indicator. So I'll put my indicator wire on the non-earth wire coming out of the indicator lamp okay but what i'm going to do here to keep it neat is i'll do it on the inboard of this grommet because then when you put that slot that back in it'll all be neat and whenever i take this off i won't have like loads of wires also it'll probably keep it drier in there won't it so and as you can see there's quite a lot of crap that gets in here so better to keep your soldering on the inside of a grommet if there is one so um that's about it really and in a minute, we'll wire it up and we'll see if it works. Um, hopefully it will. But it has done on the past few occasions. So unless there's some kind of clever German thing going on, hopefully it would work. So all the soldering is done. And uh, now I've just uh, wrapped these around with uh, insulation tape. Need about just over an inch two centimetres worth of insulation tape for each joint, just wrap it around. Put your foot on the brake pedal, the middle one. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, take it off. Oh, put it back on again. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll do. Cheers.